There is, has been a, an increase in cases uh, across Australia. Not every state the same, but our borders are open now, so it's a matter of time, really. But all of our early indicators over the last week or so have demonstrated that uh, case numbers are rising. It's probably related to these uh, couple of new variants that we are now seeing in Australia that have been seen around the world. Uh, they're still in a minority, but they are more transmissible, so it's likely that people will become infected, maybe reinfected. I think the, the uh, situation that we have high hybrid immunity at the moment from both vaccination and previous infection will keep us protected from severe disease. Uh, but cases are rising and so I'm here to talk about that and to alert people to take uh, sensible precautions over the coming weeks. Uh, there hasn't really been a, a rise in hospital cases uh, to a great extent. There, there has, has been an increase in, in cases, particularly in Victoria and WA, um, but, uh, but the rest of the country not so much. Very few cases in intensive care, only just over 40 cases uh, on average uh, at the moment uh, in the last week. Uh, so it's really um, cases in the community. Uh, and so those clear messages that we've had for some time about wearing a mask if you, if you feel unwell or to protect yourself in, in crowded situations, uh, to get a test, uh, particularly if you're in those vulnerable groups that, that could actually have uh, antiviral treatment right now, particularly people over the age of 70. Uh, that's very effective if given quickly. Uh, now's the time to actually consider whether you are eligible and due for another dose of vaccine, whether that be a third dose or a fourth dose. There are still a large number of people that have not had a third dose. This is a chance to get that. Uh, and I think that's really uh, the main messages we have at the moment. Rapid antigen tests are still uh, effective against these new variants as far as we know. These are new variants only in the last few weeks and the TGA is continuing to do that testing of, of, of rapid antigen tests against, against different uh, strains of the virus. Uh, and so we will keep watching that. Of course, PCRs are still uh, available. Uh, mostly now, and I think this is important, it's, it's a chance if you are, are in those groups that are eligible for the antivirals, it's good to get a test quickly and go and see your GP. So having a, uh, a plan uh, to do that uh, if you were to become uh, sick is an important thing.